and I'm trusting God that His will He will do. Our Lord, anything, any prayer that is in harmony with His will, as we abide in Him, He will readily grant them to us, because He's the God that loves us. He will even give to us more than uh, we ever know that we need. So uh, we'll be talking about what the Word of God says in the book of Psalm 81, verse 10. The Word of God said, we should open our mouths and He will fill it up. We should open our mouths and we should, He will fill it up. Here the Lord is inviting us. He's inviting us to take an action. He's inviting us to, to make a move. Because God will always agree. He will, he will not enforce his goodness, neither his wrath upon anyone. It has to be a kind of move. Our God is, uh, in most cases, reactive. He reacts to what we, we bring. Yeah. It's just like you have to sow to reap. Either you reap goodness or you reap evil. But the, you have to make this. If you do not sow, you, there is nothing to reap. There is nothing. There, there will be no harvest. When you see people uh, facing uh, uh, negative things in their lives, it might be it's as a result of uh, a seed that has been sowed by them or maybe someone in their generations. So if you also see someone reaping the goodness of God, it might be a seed that they, they themselves have sowed or someone in their generations. It could be they have opened their mouth unto God. They've made the move. They've demonstrated their faith in God. God always reacts to demonstration of faith. And when you demonstrate faith, it's like you are opening your mouth. Because for you to open your mouth, it's an effort you have to make. Yeah. Your, if you see a baby that is just born, the first thing that the mother knows that this baby really needs to feed, it, apart from the crying, the baby will open his mouth. So when the baby has already been fed, when the baby no longer needs food, the baby will remove his mouth and he will close his mouth. He no longer needs it. So when you see a baby opening his mouth, your mind will tell you, this child perhaps might be hungry. Yeah. Maybe that baby can't talk yet because it's so little. But when you see the baby opening his mouth, you know instinctively that that baby needs food. So the Lord is also telling us we should open our mouth. Our mouth is not necessarily our mouth. It, it, it's our heart. It's our hand. If you will close your hand when you are tight fist, fisted, you don't need anything. You, you, but when you open your hand, it's like you are calling for something to be given to you. You want to receive. Also, God wants us to open our ears. So when we open our ears, He will fill it up. When we open our heart, He will come in. When we open our hand, He will give to us. Mm -hmm. When we open our mouth, He will fill it with goodness. Yeah. So that is the word of God. If we look at the book of Psalm 81 verse 10. The book of Psalm 81 verse 10. It says, I will be praying about some of these things just before uh, 6 p.m. So that we will break our fast by 6 p.m. and uh, trusting God for tomorrow. So it says in verse 10, Psalm uh, number 81. It said, I am the Lord thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So this Egypt here, we're talking about the world, out of slavery, out of bondage, out of whatever circumstance you were in before God delivered you and you became a believer. Or for those that are yet to know this God, He will deliver you from that Egypt. Mm -hmm. He will deliver you from that bondage. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are going through immense pains and tribulation and sicknesses and uh, uh, every manner of uh, evil and you are thinking that physical remedies will help you it might just be it is not that it might be that you need god for every human being was created to have a need for god we were never created to be able to take care of ourselves god created us to be a creature that will be that will be a vessel to a vessel is meant yeah. to contain a substance. So we are vessels. Without God being there as the substance that we should carry, that vessel would, 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 would collect dust. It will collect every manner of his, yeah. which is the devil. And then that would not be operating in that vessel. 
So uh, the vessel must be con must contain something. Every human being, whether you know this God or not, you must contain something. Yeah. But it is what co you contain that then have an impact upon you. When you contain this living God by coming to Him, then every manner of the goodness of God will also come unto you. Mm -hmm. Say, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of tribulation, out of every manner of ease. Open thy mouth wide. The Lord wants us to open our mouth wide. Open our heart wide. Open your ears wide. Open your hands wide. God wants us to make an effort. Yeah. To open means you have to generate an effort by you. I want us to understand that good things doesn't come by coincidence or by, by error mm -hmm. or by mistake. Good things comes by an effort. Evil can come when you don't invite it. Disaster can come when you don't invite it. Yeah. But let me tell you, anything that is good, anything that is worthy, can only come by an effort. You have to make an effort. Mm -hmm. If you want to build a house, it, 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 it don't come by error. But I tell you, if you want to make the biggest error in the world, if a big disaster needs to come, you don't need to raise a finger. It will come on its own. Mm -hmm. The devil comes without invitation. He comes to destroy and to kill and to, and to, and to steal. Mm -hmm. But God comes by invitation. Yeah. And when we open our mouth, it's a signal to heaven. Mm -hmm. It's a signal to heaven that we want to receive. We want to be fed. Mm -hmm. Then God will then feed us. Man. That is how it is. You have to open to receive. Without you don't open. You can't receive, my brothers and my sisters. You have to declare unto God. God wants us to also use this our mouth to declare His goodness. Mm -hmm. To declare those things that are right. It's not everything that we declare. Things can be happening, but don't convalidate it. Don't agree with it by stating it concerning your life. You instead, you come against it with the word of your mouth. Mm -hmm. with, the, with the word of your mouth, you reject it. Yeah. People might think you are, you, are, you are not being realistic. But you know that faith comes by hearing. Mm -hmm. And it is this hearing, we declare with our mouth what we have heard. And when we declare what we have heard, we come in agreement with the creator of the entire universe. Mm -hmm. We come in agreement with his mindset. Mm -hmm. Because it is our mouth. That is our weapon. Yeah. It's our mouth we are, uh, that is our weapon. For we do not fight with flesh and blood, but with spiritual wickedness in high places. What is our weapon? Our weapon is the word of our mouth because words are spiritual. Mm -hmm. Words are spiritual. Mm -hmm. Words are more powerful than the greatest sword. Words are more powerful than the atomic bomb. It is words that are creative. Mm -hmm. When you speak to someone, that person can go and detonate an atomic bomb. When you speak to someone, he might go and, and, and neutralize it. But it is not that bomb that has the power. It's the word that you declared to that person. Mm -hmm. And also, as human beings react to words, also demonic spirit, also the spirit react to our words. Yeah. So God also wants you to use your mouth, not only just for... Uh, primordial things or kind of things, but above all for spiritual things. Yeah. It is with this mouth we worship God. Mm -hmm. It is with this mouth we also curse. But God wants us to use our mouth for productive things that will eventually benefit us. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91 verse 14 <clears throat> to 16. Psalm 91. <clears throat> Psalm number 91. I'll read from verse 14. 16. Then we'll go into uh, some of our prayers. He said, because this is from Psalm 91 from verse 1 to 13. It's talking about what God, God, what God says he will do for us. Mm -hmm. You know, it talks about he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in, uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Fine. But from Psalm, uh, from verse 14, there was this change. It was not God that was not speaking. God that was not speaking concerning what he would do for us. Yeah. So from, some, uh, from 91 verse 14, it says, God speaking now, 
because he has set his love upon me. God is saying, because you have set your love upon him, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Mm -hmm. So God is saying here, he will react to what we have done already. Mm -hmm. Because you have set your love upon God, now God is going to react. Mm -hmm. So God is telling you, open your mouth and I will fill it up. Yeah. So there must be an action by you. You, you, will, you will originate the move. The move towards God should be originated by you. Whatever you need from God, there should be a move by you to solicit God to move on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So God is saying, because you have set your love upon him, he said he would then set you up in a, 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 a high place. Because you have known his name, in verse 15, he said, he, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Mm -hmm. With long life will I satisfy him mm -hmm. and show him my salvation. Mm -hmm. Why is God going to do all this? Because you have set your love upon him. Mm -hmm. So, it is you that made the, the move towards God in your trust, in your confidence in him, mm -hmm. in your reliance upon him. It is you that opened your mouth. And then God now, on his own turn, he came and filled it up. Mm -hmm. That's what I take from this. In verse 14, because he has set his love upon me. It is not God that asks us to set our love upon him. It is we that should set our love upon God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God says, I will deliver him. Therefore, God will deliver us. Amen. Because we have opened our mouth wide. Because we have opened our heart wide. Because we have opened our ears. Why? God would speak to us. Mm -hmm. As we open our heart wide, God will come into us. Mm -hmm. As we open our hand wide, God will come and feel it. Mm -hmm. If you see this symbol of someone opening his hands, you know the person is asking from you. Mm -hmm. There is no other thing but asking from you. Give to me. I um, in need. If you see beggars, if you people, see people begging or appealing for help, they open their hands. That is a universal human gesture that we all know that this person needs something. Mm -hmm. A baby will open his hands to receive. A baby will open his mouth because he's hungry. So unless you open your mouth unto God, heaven would not know. They might know, but you have to agree with heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because heaven will not pour upon you what you do not need. Mm -hmm. It will not happen. God, if right now, God knows everything that we need. He knows it. Then why are the billions not coming into our homes? Why are the healings not coming? Why is this not coming? Why is this not coming? Because God is a God of principle. Yeah. You, you have said in Matthew 7, 7, ask and you shall be given. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask from God. You have to ask from God. That is what it is. When Jesus met that man by that pool for 30 something years that has been paralyzed, he, he, he asked the man, he saw the man on that place. He knew this man has been there for that long, long time. Yeah. It looked so funny when the Lord Jesus Christ asked him, what do you want me to do for you? It was very clear. That man needed to be healed. He needed to leave that that debt, that bondage. Mm -hmm. But Jesus yet asked from him, what do you want me to do for you? When the blind men came to him, they were screaming his name and people asked them to shout. And they refused to shout. Jesus called them, said they should come. And he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? Yeah. It was clear they were blind and they wanted to see. But he did not say, okay, have your sight. He asked from them, what do you want? We should come to a place where we have the confidence enough to open our mouth wide yeah. for God to fill it up. Yeah. To be able to ask him through fasting and through prayers. When you are unable to pray, when you are unable to fast, it's like as if the devil is opening your mouth and then you, you cannot be filled up. Mm -hmm. Because you, the only way you can ask, the only way you can open your mouth is through fasting and prayers unto this God. 
That's how you ask, my brethren. My brethren, you have to cultivate this. I uh, did this. 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 Train yourself to be able to seek God through fasting and prayers. Mm -hmm. Because nothing good comes by coincidence. Nothing good comes by error. It does not come by mistake. There must be a deliberate effort by you. You have to sweat. You have to also make an effort to gain that which you need from God. Yeah. And we do this not by payment of money or by any other thing, but through prayers and fasting, through fellowship with God. When we do these things, then that which we desire most, the Lord will grant it to us. Amen. 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 I pray today that all that you have been asking since the dawn of this day, all that you have been toiling in prayers and in fasting, that the Lord will grant it to you more than you think is possible. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I want you to open your mouth wide unto this God. Not just a physical opening of the mouth, but through fasting and prayers, through fasting and prayers, you open your mouth. Make an effort. Make an effort. Excuses will not get you what you want. Excuses will not get you what you want. If you are unable, God will know. If you are unable, God will know. And His mercies will be sufficient. His grace will be sufficient. But if you are able... God will also know. Mm -hmm. As in such cases, no excuse will be good enough. No excuse. Because he knows that if you want, you will be able. I'm trusting God. Sometimes we need to pray and ask God to give us the strength to be able to fast and pray. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy will come against you. The enemy will fight you. So that you will not be able to go to that throne room. So that you will not be able to go to the feet of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that you will not go, be able to go to that mercy seat through fasting and prayers. But pray before you fast and pray that God will give you the energy and the strength to be able to come there. But the moment you get there, the Lord will provide you all your needs mm -hmm. according to His riches in glory. Amen. Praise God somebody. Hallelujah. So brethren, I want us to go into our prayers. And we are going to just ask God and thank Him. Because I always like thanking God. Because it's a big joy. It's a privilege to be called a child of God. It's a privilege to be able to just come to this God as we are. And yet He will receive us. He's the awesome God. The God that is so awesome and mighty. We can't describe Him. Neither can we imagine His power. He has no beginning. He has no end. We don't know the dimension, but we know He's so awesome. And we also know that He so much loves us. He's our Heavenly Father. So let's just thank Him. Let's thank the living Christ for adopting us as His own sons and daughters. He has not taken us according to His way, our, uh, our ways, but He has taken us according to His own righteousness. For the, our, our righteousness is like a filthy rag. He has not taken us according to what we can do, but according to what He can do. Our own is to only come with our hearts. Our own is to only come with our faith. Trusting Him that He will do it for us. Knowing that He has paid the price. That mighty price on the cross of Calvary. For your sake and for my sake. Awesome God, we thank you. We bless your name. We adore you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for you gave us yourself. You ask, O oh Lord, that we should come unto you as we labor, as we are heavily, heavily laden. Father, your word says we should come unto you and you will abandon us. You will take our load away from us and you will give us your rest. You will give us your peace. What a big joy to know that you are for us. What a big joy to know that we are for you. Thank you, Father, for the blessings, for the healings, for the provisions, for all the wonderful things of this earth which you have blessed unto us. Father, your word says, we should open our mouth and you will fill it up. Awesome God, we pray, O oh Lord, that you help us, O oh Lord. As we declare today with our mouth, Lord Jesus, open your ears and grant us your consent. Open our mouth, O oh Lord, to declare everything you have prepared for us in the heavenly realm. Holy Ghost, partner with us to be able to pray in the will of our Father who art in heaven. I pray with all my brethren, as we all come unto you this hour, to break our fast. Lord Jesus, hear our prayers, O Lord. For your word says, for your own name's sake, 
Your Father will grant unto us all that we ask that is in your will. Father, as we exercise this power today, let every, every of our names, every of our prayers that is in your will, may they be granted in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and my sisters, we are going to pray against every plan of the enemy to involve any of us in any form of accidents. In any form of accident, is it vehicle accident, accident in the home, accident in the in, in the workplace, anything that is an accident, anything that was not prepared for, anything that was not planned for, is an accident. Our people, let's pray for them. Let's pray against every accident that the enemy is planning, that it shall not manifest in our lives, shall not manifest in our families. Any manner of accident, is it in the workplace? Is it our home? Is it in wherever we are? Anything that we are not prepared for, that is evil, let us come against it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come, O oh Lord, and we call upon the name. Every plan of the enemy to bring any form of accident, vehicle, domestic, in workplaces, any form of accident against any of us, against our families, against members of your church, Christ Global Gospel Ministry. Father, we pray, let it not behold the light of the day. Let it not happen unto us, for you are the mighty warrior in battle. Lord, you are the one that fights our battle. The name of Christ Jesus is a mighty tower into which your sons and daughters will run into and they will be safe. Father, we come to seek refuge Amen. in the secret place of the Most High. I hide us in your pavilion. Hide us and cover us with your feathers. Let not the plan of the enemy in the night time. Let not the plan of the enemy in the daytime. Let it not behold our, our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it not manifest in our lives Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For your word says, the arrows that fly by day, neither the arrows that fly by night, no one shall come near us. Amen. No one shall happen to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But let them return back to their senders in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil plan, every more evil manipulation of the enemies of our lives, of our families, of your church, of your name, that plans every evil in terms of accident against any of us. Father, let me return back to them. Let it never happen to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are able to protect. Amen. You are able to keep everyone that is entrusted into your bosom. Lord Jesus, we come to entrust our lives into your bosom. I entrust my life. I entrust all my family, every member of your church, Christ Global Gospel Ministry, every believer that trusts upon thee as they call upon thy name. Lord, I entrust every one of us into your bosom. Cover us with your feathers. Amen. Cover us with your shadows. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray against death and money. In these days, death has become a common thing. You hear from left, you hear from right, you hear from other places that death is happening. People are mourning. Lord Jesus, we hear in the news every day, death is not a number. We now hear hundreds and thousands of people on daily basis. It's not like a table where they write names of dead people. And there is fear everywhere. Let us pray. Father, you are the creator of life. You are the owner of life. You are the one that decides who will die. You are the one that decides who will live. Father, you have a destiny concerning our lives. Let nothing be able to alter our life before our time. In the name of Jesus. Indeed, every man must come back to you. Father, not until that day, not until that moment, let not the hand of death be able to take us away from your will. Let not the hand of any demon or any sicknesses or viruses be able to snatch our lives away from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let us pray for our families. Father, we are praying. Let us not mourn no one. Let no one mourn us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we are hearing, O oh Lord, the things that are happening to, the, to, to others, but may let it not manifest in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our brothers and sisters. Walking, O oh Lord, in the case sector in homes in hospitals we pray for the essential workers that cannot stop working those that continue to work 
in spite of these dangers. Father, may you put a canopy over them in the name of Jesus. Let no wind of, of contamination be able to touch their lives in the name of Jesus. Let them go and may your grace be upon them. May your protection be upon them. Let it be upon those that have gone to work in hospitals, in care homes, in every home, in everywhere. Lord, let your protection be upon them. Amen. Let no evil touch their lives. Amen. Those that remain at home, Father, let no evil wind blow upon them. Amen. We continue to go to out, O Lord, to shop and do essential things. Father, I pray, let your protection be upon us. Amen. We are not depending on any personal protection equipment. We are not depending on any mask. Oh, Father, these are only for the mind of man. It is you that protects the man, and that man is protected. Except you protect the city. Except you guide the house. Father, the night watchmen, they are there in vain. Unless you build a house, the people that build it, they build in vain. Unless you keep us dear Lord, Father, we are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. We are open to attack. Yes. We are open to defeat. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, be for us. Amen. Keep us, O oh Lord. Amen. Keep our loved ones. Amen. Keep your church. Amen. Let not a head from our head fall without your knowledge. Amen. For your word says, you know about every one of them because of your love for us. Let, no, let us not lose anyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, thank you for you are the keeper of your people. Let us pray for the pregnant sisters. Let's pray for brothers and sisters that are pregnant. Let's pray for families that are pregnant. Let us pray that the Lord will be with them. Grant them heavenly strength. Grant them heavenly power to be able to go through this their pregnancy without no complication. Amen. Let us pray for our sisters. Open your mouth and pray for your people wherever they are. Your neighbors that are pregnant. Any woman that is pregnant, she is vulnerable. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, abide with this one. Let no evil come near this sister. Let no evil come near this one. Every evil eyes, Father, we command them short. Every evil ears, we command them short. Father, oh Lord, it is you that have blessed them with the fruit of the womb. Lord Jesus, you are the Alpha and the Omega. When you start a thing, you also perfect it and finish it. Lord Jesus, come and abide with them throughout these days, weeks, and months of their pregnancy. And come and deliver them, Lord, like the Hebrew women. We cancel every complication out of their pregnancy. We cancel every steep bed. We cancel every premature. We cancel the surgical knife or, 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 or scissors in their body. Father, they shall deliver. They shall be alive and their children shall be alive. Amen. They shall all be in good health. Yes. They shall come unto you with thanksgivings for what you have done. We bring and entrust all our sisters that are pregnant into your bosom. Father, keep them, O Lord. Amen. Hide them, O Lord, Amen. under your feathers. Amen. Even now we pray for our sisters seeking the fruit of the womb. Father, our sisters seeking the fruit of the womb. Father, children, O Lord, coming from you alone. Yeah, you, are, you reward your children. You give them children as a heritage. You also give them children as a reward. Even so, your word has said, Father, I now pray for every sister that put their trust on you. As they are praying, Lord, I pray may you visit them. Amen. As you visited, O Lord, the holy women of old in the scriptures, Father, visit them, O Lord, Amen. and bless them with the fruit of the womb. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And may your name be exalted. Lord. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you. O Lord, we bless your name. We thank you. Let us pray that the Lord will fill our mouth. Even as we open our mouth unto him, let us pray that the Lord will fill our open mouth, our open hearts, our open ears, our open hands. Let us pray. Father, you are the one that has commanded it. In the book of Psalm 81, verse 10, your word says we should open our mouth wide and you promise to fill it up. Father, we now come, O oh Lord, with our prayer request. As we now pray from this day, as we open our hearts, as we open our ears, we open our hands to receive, we open our mouth, O oh Lord. Father, O oh, oh Lord, we open it so wide. Now come and fill it with all that you have ordained concerning us with all the heavenly blessings, with all peace, with all joy, with healings, with prosperity, with joy all around us. Bless us, O Lord, with all that we have ordained concerning each and every one of us. As we open, O Lord, our mouth in obedience to your word today. Father, I pray, 
let testimonies abide that you came and you filled us up with your heavenly blessings. Fill every heart with knowledge. Fill our ears, O oh Lord, to hear your voice. Lord, fill our hands with the blessings of this earth. Let us not suffer. Let us not suffer. Let us not, O oh Lord, suffer to get. For my Lord, your blessings, you, you give it and you add no sorrows. Bless us, O oh Lord, and let no sorrows be added Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we trust on you, Father, fill us up with all heavenly blessings, with all that pertains to us concerning this earth. The goodness of this land, let it flow to us. The meek and honey upon this land, upon every land where my brethren are. Father, I pray, let it flow unto them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank we you. bless your name. Let us pray for God's comfort and reassurance. In this period that we are going through, Father, we pray. Oh, let every one of us pray. Pray for God's comfort. Let God comfort you in whatever circumstance you find yourself. Let us pray that God will reassure us in our hearts by a visitation, by an, a, a, by an event that He is for us, that He will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, we pray for your reassurance. Lord Jesus, we pray for your reassurance. Holy Ghost, we pray for your reassurance. Visit us today. Come into our lives. Touch our circumstances. Touch our conditions. Come and comfort us in this period, O oh Lord, of, 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 of depression, in this period of sorrows, in this period of sadness. Hardly do we find something to give us joy. Everywhere is locked down. Things are not working. Things are not working. Things are not moving forward. Father, you are our joy. You are our comforter. Amen. Holy Ghost, come and comfort every one of us. Comfort my brethren, wherever they are. Visit us, O Lord. Reassure us once again. Grant us, O Lord, the joy of your salvation. Grant us the reassurance that coming from you. Grant those that are mourning. Many are mourning right now for the loss of a loved one. In Africa, here in Europe, here in UK, in the United States, in America, in Asia, in every part of the world, in every part of the world, in Africa. Lord, I pray for your comfort. Amen. Comfort your people yes. as they put their trust on you. Lord, let them not fall aside. Let them not backslide. But may you comfort them. Let them see the Holy Ghost upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for heavenly intervention. In every circumstance, you need the heavenly intervention upon your life. You need divine intervention. Father, intervene in our lives. As you intervene in the life of Israel. Lord, intervene. In this very moment in our life, in the history of the earth. Father, we need you more than ever before. Intervene in the affairs of men. Father, we have never experienced this before. Lord Jesus, we now call upon thy name. Intervene in our lives individually. Intervene in our families. Intervene in our community. Intervene in our church. Lord Jesus, let your mighty hand of power, let it come and touch every situation, every circumstances for our favor. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray for our brethren. Father, many we do not know their circumstance, but my Lord, you know it, it O oh Lord. Yes. We pray may you intercede in their lives, intervene and, intervene and bring them out from the merry clay, from wherever any of us has fallen. Father, dig us out once again and bring us out to become a mighty army that will glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. For you are the God that doeth exceeding and abundantly more than we pray. More than we think is possible. We have prayed the much we know. But my Lord, you know the better. Those things we do not know that we need. Father, all the same we pray. May you release them upon us. Holy Spirit, intercede on our behalf. In the name of Jesus. I just want you to pray wherever you are. As we break our fast, I just want you to bring everything you have prayed this day before God. Just ask, Father, as I break my fast with my brethren in other parts of the world, everything I've burned on earth today, may they be burned in heaven. Amen. Everything I've released on earth today, may they be released in heaven. Amen. Everything I've blessed on earth today, in agreement with my brethren all over the world, Father, everything I've blessed on earth today may be blessed in heaven. Amen. Just pray that prayer. Father, we come unto you in this prayer of agreement. We hold ourselves spiritually Everyone that is participating today, Father, we join hands together in the spirit realm 
to pray for each other and to pray for ourselves. Father, this day we have declared the things we do not need. We have burned them out of our lives. Father, the things that we need, we have prayed for them. Father, we now pray everything, every one of us, have burned on earth today. Everything we have rejected on earth today out of our lives and families. Father, may they be burned in heaven. May they be rejected out of our lives in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Father, as we come in fellowship and in agreement, everything, O Lord, we have prayed for, everything we have released on earth concerning our lives, people in imprisonment, spiritual imprisonment, physical imprisonment, Lord, Father, we pray, may they be released in heaven. Father, we release the administration of the Holy Ghost upon our lives here on earth. May it be released in heaven. Father, we also join hands in fellowship and prayers. We agree together with our brethren that all that we are blessed upon our lives today on earth, every good thing on this land that we are blessed upon our lives, we have asked for. Father, may they be blessed upon us in heaven. May they be released upon us in heaven. And may your name alone be glorified. Father, hear the prayer of your saints. Hear the prayer of your church. Bless your people. Let your kingdom come. Thank you, thank you, Father. You are the God that hear prayers. Thank you for granting us our request. You alone shall save. You alone shall worship and adore forevermore. As we keep on seeking your face, even tomorrow, Father, grant us the strength to carry on. Let no evil be able to bring an obstacle against any of us. As we have set forth for this journey of seeking your face, Father, may we find you. Grant us the strength to get to the end. Thank you, Father, for you are the helper of the helpless. Thank you, Father, for your almighty love for us. We shall forever bless your name. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my brethren, I thank God for your life. Continue to encourage you. Never you give up. Our God says it is well with you. In fact, sometimes when you think terrible things are happening, it might just be the beginning of God's intervention. Remain blessed forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.